Welcome to today's Reflections on Finding the Real Jesus, a reading from John's Gospel. The next day, the great crowd that had come to the festival heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord the king of Israel. Jesus found a donkey and sat on it, as it is written. Do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. Look, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first. But when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written of him and had been done to him. Here ends the reading. Just as it was hard for the disciples to understand 2000 years ago how a real king would be entering Israel riding a donkey and that Jesus would die and then live again, it is hard for us to imagine that the real Jesus climbed a rock in order to mount a donkey on the way to his crucifixion. If you want to understand the real Jesus and his life, I encourage you to visit Israel. My experience is that you quickly understand how real Jesus is. Every place where he went and every location where he performed a miracle or healed the sick is memorialized by a church or chapel. You can visit the little church where he healed the lepers who were secluded in an empty cistern. So too the well where Jesus met the Samaritan woman. Even the place where Jesus got up on a rock to mount the donkey before entering Jerusalem is underneath a plexiglass case inside a small church. Once you see how real all of these spots are, everyone who visits Israel ends up more sure in their belief that Jesus lived and that the gospel stories are very real. So too, I think you feel more certain that Jesus is the son of God. Find a way to go to Israel and feel the presence of Jesus. Just as the disciples could not fully understand and know Jesus until they saw the resurrected Christ and relearned the Old Testament prophetic scriptures, I suggest that it is impossible to know and feel the presence of the living Jesus without walking in his footsteps. Even the wilderness that we have visited in our mind for much of our 40 days of Lent is so different from what is in our imagination. The picture behind me is the wilderness that Jesus was led into by the Holy Spirit. So once our mind's eye has an accurate depiction of the many places Jesus visited, it is then that our biblical readings become alive with the real Jesus. We feel Jesus's pain as we walk on the Calvary Road. We undoubtedly cry with him when we touch the spot of the crucifixion. And we rejoice at his empty tomb in a way that we will never forget. If you can't afford to go to Israel, let me know. I will help you raise money so that you can go. It is a pilgrimage that will lead you along an unforgettable path, even up onto a donkey to ride into Jerusalem with palm leaves spread before you. Amen. My song choice for you is Tim McGraw's Live Like You Are Dying. Going to Israel makes you live 
with a new understanding that like Jesus, you are dying and that such a future is okay. You have a deeper friendship with and love for Jesus, the one who entered Jerusalem to die for each and every one of us. Happy Palm Sunday. Our collecting prayer for Palm Sunday is Almighty and ever living God, in your tender love for the human race, you sent your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, to take upon him our nature and to suffer death upon the cross, giving us the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may walk in the way of his suffering and also share in his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.